Assalamu alaikum everybody. I hope uh, all of you are well by the grace of Allah. So let me introduce first. I am Amdi Rupanuddin and I have been completed my bachelor degree from South Korea and also currently I am working as a uh, marketing manager of Korean University's Ambition Center. Besides that, I am doing my master's degree from uh, Hansang University in South Korea. And my major is international trade and economics. Okay, so today I'm going to discuss about the Aju University. As you know that uh, there are uh, many universities of South Korea, uh, especially uh, for the private university. The wall rank position is very good of this university. So that's why today I'm going to give you the information about this university, the courses, the course fee per semester and also uh, the uh, which courses they are generally provided in, in English track. Okay, so let's get started. For the courses as uh, so far this university provides six courses in English track um, you may find the MBA masters of business administration and also um, international trade and policy then masters of arts in international trade and the third fourth number is the uh, international NGO studies I mean um, as you know that many of the students who are looking for the NGO companies so if you complete this course from this uh, university i hope it will help you to find the uh, your future job position and also international development and cooperation and finally there have one engineering course in english track that is international sorry energy science and policy so so these six courses are taught in english english uh, fully in english so the tuition fee for the courses uh, I will discuss here now for the MBA you know that it's little bit expensive to uh, all the uh, universities of South Korea the tuition fee for MBA per semester is 5146 US dollar but if you get admission to this university you will have you will be awarded 50 percent scholarship for the first semester and for the following semester if uh, it will be uh, provided your scholarship depending on your academic performance okay and for the international trade and policy international trade international ngo studies and international uh, development and cooperation so these courses tuition fee are same uh, that is 4272 us dollar and from them uh, from this tuition fee you will be provided 50% uh, scholarship so uh, let me talk about the IELTS score or the QFL how much you need for the IELTS it generally requires 6 they are looking they are looking for the who have the IELTS 6 score band score but uh, within the 5.5 also you may uh, apply for this university and for the GPA requirements how much you need especially for the Bangladeshi you need GPA uh, 3 point out of 4 but if you have less than 3 point you can try but I recommend you if you have 3 and IELTS 6 or IELTS minimum 5.5 then you can uh, apply for the following courses okay so let's uh, talk about the requirements which requirements uh, you need to apply for this university so you should be prepared with your documents earlier before application so first of all you need your uh, you have to complete online application that you may find from the university website if you go there then there have uh, the graduation or the under graduation so if you have uh, applied to, for graduation you have to go this uh, portal this side and also apply uh, from the university portal or the gene hack application and so you have to complete your online application first then you need to uh, get your bachelor degree uh, degree certificate and your transcript that or if someone is uh, is being or will be graduated soon like next semester they can apply with their impending graduation certificate and seven semester academic results with academic results and someone who have the uh, I mean uh, the four courses okay so they are also you need uh, your two recommendation letter from your university 
where you are currently studying now so you have to uh, get two recommended le recommendation letter from your current professor and that should be uh, printed or written on the uh, Azu university specific format and another is your statement of purpose i mean your sop you have to prepare in which course you are applying and where why you are applying for this course and what will be your future plan you have to explain uh, here properly and for the ielts as i discussed before that you should be it should be 5.5 or more than but i suggest to get at least ielts 6 point and you need two passport size photocopy photo that will be um, i mean uh, taken within the 6 months uh, and your bank statement and that sh should be around uh, twenty thousand dollar or over twenty thousand dollar and bank certificate as well you have to get it so for the bank statement you can prepare with your name or your father or your mother name okay and you have to get, make one uh, cb cur or curriculum beta or resume uh, it, it should be uh, not any form but the for this university they have their specific cb format that you have to uh, i mean input your details they are using their uh, specific format and also the agreement of academic verification that should be uh, here uh, there you have to mention your student id and the current university name and their phone number and your student id and uh, uh, for to verify your documents so that should be your uh, university official person's name phone number email address and something else you you can find uh, this from the university website okay and your education record request also is that it's very simple just write down your name and be agree with uh, all the conditions of them and a copy of passport as you uh, as an international student you should have an uh, passport that uh, you have to uh, submit your one copy of passport and also uh, those who are uh, staying in south korea you need the alien card front and back side photocopy but who are uh, applying from abroad they just need to submit the uh, um, their uh, passport photocopy and your parents national ID identity card or uh, your parents uh, passport uh, copy that you have to submit so these are the requirements that you have to prepare so i hope this video will help you to uh, um, search for this university if, if you need any information you guys can comment there below and i will try my best here and i will provide here my uh, information like my phone number skype or email address if you uh, need any help i hope uh, you guys will uh, send me a message or something else so i will be i will try my best to help you all all the time as i work with this university for many students and also we are working for uh, other universities of south korea so day by day i will try my best to give you the more information about uh, some other universities of south korea so all the best see you next time allah hafiz assalamu alaikum warahmatullah